Hello everyone, welcome to our Math Online Classroom and please don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? So we are with our lesson six that talks about um, the zeros of rational functions and the following are our objectives. First, we have defined the zeros of rational function and identify, of course, the zeros of a rational function. Okay, so let's start here. In a fraction, N and D, no, or the numerator and denominator, we cannot have a denominator equal to zero. It's because our our answer answer will be undefined. Okay, so let's say for example, a five over zero, negative forty seven over zero, and twelve over zero will give us un, the answer undefined. Okay, again we cannot have the denominator equal to zero, okay? Kasi error yung lalabas, okay? So in the same fraction, no, n and d, if we have the numerator e equal to zero, let's say for example, zero over five, negative zero over 47, and zero over 12 will give us the answer zero, okay? So in general, when dealing with rational functions, with whatever value of x that will make the numerator zero, without simultaneously making the denominator equal to zero will be a zero of the said rational function. I know yung ibig sabi nun. So the value of x that will make our numerator zero, but no, or without making the denominator equal to zero, it is the zero of a rational function. Again, Kapag yung value ng x ay, ay, ay ginawang zero ang numerator, pero yung denominator niya ay hindi, that is um, the zero of a rational function. Again, the value of x na, gumawa na, na, na ginawang zero ang numerator without making the denominator zero is the zero of a rational function. Okay? Sige, let's have an example. Find the zeros of the rational function f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8 over x squared minus x minus 6, okay? So let's have the solution. We will do now this step-by-step -step process, okay? So first is we are going to factor the numerator and the denominator of f, of course. So the factor of x squared plus 6x and 8, we will have this one. So why x plus 2 and x plus 4? Because what? The factor of x squared is x and x. The factor of 8 with respect to the middle term, which is 6, is 2 and 4. Bakit daw? Bakit, bakit 2 and 4? It's because 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 plus 2 is 6. That's why it is our factor. At alam kung alam niyan, kasi na-discuss natin yan with our previous uh, lessons. Sa iba ba naman? The factor of x squared is x and x. The factor of negative 6 with respect to negative 1 is 2 and negative 3. Bakit? Kasi negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 and negative 3 plus 2 will give us negative 1. Okay? That's why yan yung factor natin. Nakuha na yan? Sige. Next. Identify the restrictions. When we say restrictions, what will make the denominator equal to 0? What will make the the, the function equal to zero. Of course, we're going to equate the denominator equal to zero. Simulan natin sa x plus two, equate natin sa zero, so we'll have x is equal to negative two. The other one is x minus three, equate natin sa zero, so x is equal to positive three. So, titingnan yung denominator. Kapag yung x, pinalitan natin ng negative two, we will have negative two plus two will give us zero. So, zero times x plus three will give us zero, and our denominator will be undefined. Same with um, x is equal to 3. Let's say, for example, 3 minus 3 will give us 0. So 0 times x plus 3 is 0. So if our denominator is 0, our answer is, or our function is undefined. Okay, so that is the restrictions. Okay, next step. Identify the values of x that make the numerator equal to 0. So ano naman yung mga values ng x? Na, na magiging zero ang ating numerator. Of course, we will, we will base our answer on our numerator, which is x plus 2 and x plus 4. So, syempre, i-equate natin siya sa zero. Let's start with 
x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, itong x plus 2 na numerator natin, i-equate natin sa 0. So, transpose positive, positive 2 or eliminate positive 2 by subtracting negative 2 to both sides. You will have x is equal to negative 2. Next is x plus 4. Okay? So, equate natin yung x plus 4 to 0. So, x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, transpose positive 4 or eliminate positive 4 by subtracting negative 4 sa both sides. So, we'll have x is equal to negative 4. So, we are with step 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, let's move forward with our step 4. Okay? So, na-screenshot ko yung ating uh, 1, 2, and 3 para meron tayong guide. Okay? So, step 4, we will have to identify the zero of f. Identify the zero of f. So, tingnan ninyo sa ating third step. Okay? Uh, what value of x that will make the numerator zero but at the same time will not make, no? Will not make our denominator zero. Or, or ibig sabihin, uh, or para mas madali, anong number sa ating step three na hindi makikita sa step Two. Okay? Anong number ang makikita or anong value ng x ang makikita sa step 3 na hindi makikita sa step 2? Okay? Is it x is negative 2 or x is negative 4? Okay. So, for, of course, that is x and negative 4. So, x is equal to negative 4 will be a 0 of f. Okay? So, bakit? Bakit hindi pwede si x is equal to negative 2? x is equal to negative 2 will not be a 0 of f because it is also a restriction. Okay? So, kasi kung napapansin nyo, uh, x is equal to negative 2, may, na, ginawa niyang 0 ang numerator, at the same time, ginawa niya ring 0 ang ating denominator. Or negative 2 is part of the restrictions. That's why, hindi siya 0 of f. Okay? So, iti-check natin yung ating sagot. Okay, let's say for example, if our f is equal to negative 2, so using our uh, original function, no, ito sa taas, we will going to substitute the value of x by negative 2. So negative 2 uh, squared is positive 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. So negative 2 squared is positive 4 plus, um, I don't know. Negative 2 squared is positive 2 plus 2 is 6 minus 6 is 0. So we'll have 0 over 0. So hindi siya pasok kasi it, made, it makes our numerator 0 at the same time our denominator 0. How about our um, negative 4? Try naman natin i-substitute si negative 4. So uh, negative 4 squared is 16 uh, minus... Uh, 24 plus 8 is equal to uh, 0. Uh, negative 4 squared is positive 16 plus 4 is 20 minus 6 is 14. So we'll have 0 over 14. So our numerator here is 0 but our denominator is not a 0. Therefore, negative 4 is a 0 of f. So si negative 4 lamang. Naintindihan? Okay, so that is example number one. Okay, so let's move on. No, let's have this example number two. F of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x squared minus 4. Okay, so step by step ulit tayo. So factor the numerator and denominator of f. So our numerator and denominator, we have the factor x minus 2 and x minus 2 or x minus 2 squared. And sa denominator naman, we have x plus 2 and x minus 2. Okay. So, bakit x minus 2? Kasi nga, eto, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Okay? Positive 4 yung ating uh, third. Okay? Third term. Okay? Negative 2 plus negative 2 will give us negative 4. That's why x minus 2 and x minus 2. Sa baba naman, the, the factor of x squared is x and x. The factor of negative 4 is positive 2 and negative 2. So, positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Na, na, kung napapansin nyo, wala tayong middle term. Ibig sabihin nyo, middle term natin is 0. Kasi nga, um, 2 minus 2 is 0. That's why you ganun yung factor natin. At alam ko, alam nyo yan kasi na-discuss natin yan previously. Okay? Next. Identify the restrictions. What, um, 
what value of x that will make our denominator equal to zero? So, anong value ng x sa ating denominator that will make our denominator equal to zero? Of course, i-equate natin sa siya sa zero. So, x plus 2 is equal to zero. Eliminate positive 2 by subtracting negative 2 to both sides. So, we'll have x is equal to negative 2. Same with x minus 2. So, x minus 2 is equal to zero. So, eliminate negative 2 by adding 2. So both sides, so we'll have x is equal to positive 2. So these values, now when substitute to x, will make our denominator 0. So for example, uh, negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 will give us 0. And 2 minus 2 will give us 0. So it is undefined or the restrictions of our function. Next, identify the values of x that will make the numerator equal to zero. Anong value ng x naman sa ating numerator that will make the, the function or the numerator of our function zero? So, since para sa naman na x minus 2 and x minus 2, of course, i-equate natin siya sa zero. So, eliminate negative 2 by subtracting 2 both sides. So, i-transpose ko yung negative 2 sa kabila. Yung minus 2, pag nilipat sa kabila, magiging plus 2. So, we'll have x is equal to positive 2. Alright. Sige. Nakuha ba yan? Okay. Next. Screenshot ng ating first, second, and third. So, fourth step, identify the zero of f. Okay? Identify the zero of f. So, ano nga yung pinakamadaling ways? Kanina na sinasabi ko, uh, para masagot si number four, tingnan mo lang yung, yung results sa ating step three. Ito. Tingnan mo lang yung ating results sa step three. Anong number dyan ang hindi makikita sa step two? Anong number sa step three? or value ng x ng, sa step 3 na hindi makikita sa step 2. Okay? So, x is equal to positive 2. Nandito rin. Uh, wala naman tayong negative 2 sa step 3. So, 2 lang talaga. So, yun ang ibig sabihin ito. Wala. Butata. Okay? Butata. It means that x is equal to 2 will not be a 0 of f because it is also a restriction. So, hindi siya... Uh, 0 of f. So, pag butata, ibig sabihin, our function x squared minus 4, x plus 4 over x squared minus 4 has no 0. So, wala siya. Wala no. So, i-check natin. I-check natin. So, we're going to evaluate, no? Change the value of x to 2. So, 2 squared is 4. Uh, 4 minus 8 is um negative 4 um, plus 4 is 0. Uh, 2 squared is 4 minus 4 is 0. So we'll have 0 over 0 and that is undefined. So our x is equal to 2 is not a 0 function of our rational function. Okay? So before we end, now take note that before we cancel common factors, we must first identify the zeros of the rational function. Let's say for example in our um, example number one, the factor of x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x squared minus 4 is x plus 2 and x, uh, x minus 2 and x minus 2 over x plus 2 and x minus 2. So kung pwede mo i-cancel yung x minus 2 and x minus 2, but then it will give us a different answer. So sabi dito, before we cancel common factors, we must first identify the zeros of the rational function. So, hindi muna tayo pwedeng mag-cancel unless hindi pa natin nahanap yung ating rational function. Okay? So, yun niya.